peeps? It's your girl Dodge coming back to Feral Takes. Well, you guys, it looks like we have a first look into season two of The Boys. I'm actually excited about this one. It's titled, uh, for like a first clip, titled um, I'm Stormfront. I'm really hyped and excited to see season two. I enjoyed season one. Oh my God, it was a lot going on. The characters, I just love all all the characters on it honestly well let me let me not go there homeland has been working my nerves and i'm curious to see what's going to happen with that but you know what let me go ahead and jump into this and i'll say the real rant at the end you guys let's just let's just jump into this hi you know who we are but let's meet another hero this is lance corporal dan miller dan and the other brave marines of second battalion are helping keep you safe from the super villain threat we're proud to fly alongside them. And now we could use your support. That's right, Maeve, with our new campaign, Saving America. Here I go, you guys. Wish me luck. Oh, FYI, not a real base. As if Homelander and Maeve are going to eat MREs and piss in a ditch with the rest of the crew. Yeah, we're filming right now, excuse me. Also, you might recognize Army Boy as Hotel Clerk Number Two Hello? from excuse The Devil's Breath, episode of Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. Well. Hello! <laughs> oh my god. Hi! My Nana's your biggest fan. I'm Stormfront. Great. Right, yeah, from Seattle, right? Uh, <laughs> Portland, actually. Your, uh, highness. Holy shit! Your eyes are really fucking blue up close. Oh, <laughs> oh you are fun. And who? We got work to do, so let's get back to it. Oh, totally. Uh, they just wanted me to meet you. Who? Oh, the boys on 82. I'm the new girl. Uh-oh. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh! Hi, I'm in the seven. <laughs> Replacing translucent. God bless his soul. Oh. Uh. Ink's barely dry, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, reporting for duty. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Um, no, I don't think that this is it's not true. I don't know anything about this. You know... Wow. Well, uh, Stormfront. Who delivered the good news? Oh, uh, Mr. Anchor? Vicka? Oh. Wonderful. Great. All right. Great. I think this is going great. <laughs> All right, you guys. I really enjoyed that clip. Oh, my God. You can look at Homeland and tell he is none too happy. You're kind of shaking things up. She looks, She's a little firecracker. Like, she has, um, not to say nowhere near his impulses, but it looks like she kind of just kind of goes to her own drum. She kind of does what we want. You know, I feel like, you know, she'll kind of do what she's supposed to. But then she just looks, she's kind of like, you know, carefree with it. And you can clearly see she's interrupting. They were in the middle of doing, you know, what looks to be some sort of maybe a commercial or ad or whatever. And did not care. It was rather loud. And Homer come over and introduce himself. And you can see she's like, oh, yeah, I'm new. You know, I'm part of the seven. He's like, how's this happening? I didn't know about it because, of course, Homelander likes to know he knows everything. Clearly, as you all saw how he was in season one, being that he might not know something at the beginning, but he always finds out things, hence what happened to Madeline. Um, yeah, I'm here for it. I really want to see their banter because you can tell, especially if he tries to kind of keep the control of being able to know what's going on and keeping people in line to what he wants whatever and all that and look like she's not going to be that type of person where he can just she's a pushover i feel it i feel it already just from the way she carried on in that one scene i'm here for it so but like i stated before i love the cast i'm looking forward to seeing um huey i want to see um annie um uh, frenchy um I can't remember the girl's name, um, but they keep calling her the female. I know she had a name and it was um, known when they were making her remember her um, her life, what she's been through. The girl was considered mute until she finally you know, spoke here and there. So I hope we get a little bit more storyline with her because I really wanted them to develop her and she had some skill set. So I want to see more of that skill set because we saw it towards the last couple of episodes. Um, also, you know, Les Alonzo's character, I'm not not remembering everybody's name off the top, excuse me. But yes, like I said, I just like all the cast. I'm all here for an ensemble cast. So the good the good ones and then the full call plays the bad ones. But Homelander, 
I don't want him to be running shotgun and just, you know, being completely in charge of everything. I want him to realize that he has someone who's going to try to, you know, entangle with him so he can't just, just be doing whatever he wants. And I'm really hoping we get to see that. I know he kind of stayed in line a little bit because Madeline was able to kind of at times try to, you know, kind of keep him in line with the way she was able to, you know, be very, you know, persuasive in her wearing and whichever. And it worked to a point until he realized that she was kind of, you know, lying and keeping things from him until that just kind of like but needless to say i'm really wanting to see how things are going to evolve like i said with most of basically all the characters so i'm ready for the new season it's supposed to be in september bring it on i'm looking forward to binging the hell out that damn thing so with that said you guys comment below i really want to know what you all think and with that said i'll see you guys in the next action you guys take care